Here's an easy Valentine's Day wreath painting idea that both kids and adults are gonna love. I know I had fun with it. Grab a mop brush and some colors for your background. I'm using hot pink, tan, and white, and do up and down strokes across the entire canvas. Then make sure that's dry and grab a pencil. We're going to sketch a heart. The heart is going to fill up the center of your canvas. Make sure it's big enough so that you can decorate it. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we are going to add texture over top of it. I'm going to take my fine sea sponge with some dark green, light green, and tan. If you did my Christmas wreath painting, it's very similar, but we're just bouncing the sponge over the heart shape instead of a circle. Do that, make sure you add bright green in places you want highlighted and dark green where you want it shaded. Almost looks like a topiary, there we go. Now dry it so we can decorate it. Grab your paper rolls. I've been saving toilet paper rolls all year for just different things. And I saw this technique the other day I had to try where you turn it into a heart stamp. So I'm going to pinch the bottom edge of my paper roll for the point of the heart and then point the top part down so you have two curves for the top of the heart. You might need to use your fingers to make the top part of the hearts curved. And now as a stamp, you could dip it right into a big puddle. That's going to give you really thick edges, but I want my hearts to be a little thinner. So I'm going to take a pouncer sponge and just dab in over top of the heart to make the paint go on a little bit more even. And then you can use it like a stamp. I'm just gonna press down and pull up. And there's a heart, how much fun. I'm going to load it up each time and make sure each of the hearts are kind of leaning a different direction. Think about a wreath. Where would you hang little hearts like this? Now using the same one, I'm going to just bounce on some light red this time. And it's okay if the hearts are overlapping. See how some of them go in over top of each other? That's okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna take the other one. I loaded it up with some bright pink. There we go, space them out. And I could leave it like that. I think that looks really pretty, but why don't we add some white in for fun? Pops of white really make it come together usually. All overlapping. How cute. You could leave it like that and it could be done, but let's push it to the limit. Dry what you have so far, and then we're gonna add more decorations. I'm taking a size five round brush, and instead of a bow, I'm going to create a big heart hanging from the center and a couple smaller hearts hanging that are accents all around the wreath. I only did about five or six of them and then dry them. I did them white first so you could make them whatever color you want, but I decided to do the dark red just because I feel like that's a nice heart color. Fill each of those hearts in and you may need to do more than one coat to get them solid, but spread it out nice and even. Look at that. And then dry that as well. I am going to take a detail brush and hang my red heart in the middle with a tiny bow. See two loops and then two lines coming out curved like little ribbons. I like that. And you know those conversation hearts? You could put whatever you want in here. I'm gonna use white and put be mine. I don't know, I feel like that's the one heart that I would always eat as a kid with those candy hearts. Maybe some pops of white for highlights. We're gonna do that too on the other hearts. Love it, super simple. And instead of little curlicues in a detail brush, I'm going to take a Q-tip and dot in some little white dots for um, accents. There we go. Chaotic, just like the Valentine's wreaths usually are. And what's a heart painting without some glitter paint? I'm gonna do some glitter Mod Podge this time. It goes on milky, but then dries clear, and that's just gonna make the accent hearts really pop in the end. I can't help it, that's just me. Glitter is totally optional. Don't forget to use your own colors. You can design it however you want, so make it your own. I had a lot of fun with this one, especially. I did a couple different versions. Some I did different color hearts, and other ones I dipped it instead of using the pouncer sponges, and the little hearts turned out a little bit thicker. Who knew you could paint with paper rolls? If you like this tutorial, follow me for more, and I'd love to see how they turn out. Happy early Valentine's Day.